Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the Mall of the Emirates where I just picked up the new Rolex catalog from the Rolex boutique. On my wrist my beautiful Rolex GMT Master 2 Pepsi, my favorite watch by a mile. In case you don't know, you can pick up these Rolex catalogs for free from the Rolex boutique as long as they have them in stock. A real high quality book with all the beautiful watches and some backstories to them inside. Besides that, I have a new Rolex watch for my mom with me, which we are going to store in my safety deposit box in the vault room. Also I will show you my most expensive watch that you haven't seen yet. This watch is twice the price of my Rolex Pepsi and very hard to get from the boutique and it is also very hard to get from the second hand market as it is so rare. So lean back, take a coffee and enjoy the video. The vault room is conveniently located in the Mall of the Emirates on the first floor. Quite an advantage over the typical bank vault rooms as you can access it much easier with longer opening hours. Combine it with a shopping trip or dinner and store your purchases in case you have to directly close to the watch stores. Hey Lynn, how are you doing? To enter the vault room, we open this hidden door with my fingerprint and face scan. After the hidden door, we open a second yet not visible vault door with my security card and again face ID. Only if all four security mechanisms match, the helpful employees and security team are going to open the main vault door for you. This main vault door has a weight of approximately 2 tons, so I guess my watch collection is pretty safe over here. And here we are inside the vault room. All these deposit boxes can be rented for quarterly, half yearly and yearly rates. Due to the size of the box, the length of your contract and the services you book, the rate will vary. I got the full package including a large box and premium service. For that the price is very competitive compared to other vault rooms and on top these uh, company vintage vaults offers an included insurance for your belongings that you store over here. So all of that together is very hard to beat as per my calculations. Especially considering the insurance you get on top. Next we are going to open my safety locker. For that you will require two keys which have to be used simultaneously. One from the box owner and one from the vintage vaults team. Afterwards, your box will be placed in a private room where you can exchange, take or store things in the box. The private room can be locked as well. Here you can see my box. A good space for packing enough valuables inside. These boxes can be locked with another protection but I trust in the several protective systems you just saw, so no need for me to do another step. Inside my box I usually store an empty watch roll just in case I want to take a few watches with me and another single watch pouch if I only need to take one watch. Here's the watch box with my most expensive watch from the whole watch collection. I will show you the piece inside in a few minutes. And next my collector's watch box, which we are going to open now. And here we go with one part of my watch collection that I usually do not store at home. As you probably know I have a few more watches like the Zenith, uh, Defy 
then the Pepsi on my wrist and another Omega and so on. And those watches are either stored at home or in Germany back at my parents' home. My Omega Speedmaster Sapphire Sandwich that has a value of around 7,000 US dollars. My Explorer 36 valued at around 10,000 US dollars. My Explorer 39 which comes at around 10,000 US dollars as well. And on top my Zenith Poker Chip which also comes at around 10,000 US dollars. The beautiful Gira Parago Laureato with the blue Clue de Paris dial. This watch uh, lost quite a lot in value recently as it was I think at the peak maybe yeah, at around 24,000 US dollars. And now as per Chrono24 it is still worth about 16,000 US dollars what I would still consider a bargain for this amazing watch. My new coral red dial Oyster Perpetual again valued at around 16,000 US dollars. My Rolex Submariner Starbucks which comes at around 18,000 US dollars also dropped a bit recently. And last but not least the most expensive watch in this box which is my Rolex GMT Master 2 Bad Girl and this watch comes at around 20,000 US dollars. So the total value of this box is around 107,000 US dollars not even considering the box itself which also comes at around 1,200 dollars but I think this uh, watch box is really worth every penny. And now I can finally show you my most expensive watch, many of you probably haven't seen before. I bought this watch a while back in Dubai from the local off-rise dealer for Moser NC. After I saw it for the first time on the Dubai Watch Week, I was immediately in love with this watch. The watch is uh, very hard to get and it took me quite a long wait. On the second hand market there are pretty much zero of these pieces available and if there is maybe sometimes one piece on Chrono24 those watches usually trade around two to four thousand US dollars over the already pretty high retail price of around twenty two thousand US dollars. Let's open the watch box and here it is my new Moser NC Heritage Dual Time. I haven't used this watch a lot yet as I want to keep it in pristine condition for the review I'm going to do for you soon. The watch has a GMT movement inside which alone costs about $7000 more than the simple freehand heritage. The dial is a red fumé dial and the case is inspired from a pocket watch. That's why it is called heritage. I'm excited to hear about your opinion about the watch. Have you heard about the brand Moser NC before? What do you think about the watch that I just bought? So please drop me a comment below the video with your opinion. And now it's time to pack everything back together including the new Rolex for my mom into the safety deposit box. And it's time to leave the private room. Storing my safety box back in the locker. Okay, thank you very much. A last look around the vault room for you and also what you can find over here in the vault room or in these private rooms is actually a money counter and scales for jewelry or for whatever kind of stuff you want to store here. Again to leave the vault room we have to use the face ID and safety card. Thank you. And that's it. I hope you like this experience of me showing you how I store my watch collection in Dubai. It gives me some good sleep at night and lets me travel for business or vacation without anything to worry. 
So thank you for watching, stay healthy and see you in the next one. Bye bye.